We will now move to the project scheduling subtopics to visualize our earlier planning. To document the project planning effectively, we should have better visualization to represent the scheduling of the project in terms of the activities, human resources, and estimated time. There are three basic but effective techniques to visualize the project schedules, namely the Gantt chart, birth diagram, and critical path method, or in short, CPM. Each of the techniques have its own advantages and disadvantages, and the technique should be applied based on our purpose of presenting the details information for a project planning and its schedule. In this topic 2, Gantt chart is the first technique used to visualize the project scheduling. Basically, Gantt chart is the best tool for effective project and time management. It is simple and easy to represent tasks and subtasks visually on a graph or a chart. The bars represented the sequences of activities with the specified time duration. The add-on information such as the specific roles or team members as well as the milestone as targeted deliverables for each activities can also be represented on the bars. You can use tools like Microsoft Project, Microsoft Visio or other free online applications such as ClickUp, Trello to draw the gun chart. The second technique to visualize project scheduling is by using PERT diagram. PERT is an acronym for Program Evaluation and Review Techniques. PERT is also known as Network Diagram. The technique uses network of nodes as visualization for a program or a project. You can see the circles or the nodes that represent the events as shown in the figure. Normally, we use numbers or letters to identify the nodes. As the figure shown, we use 10, 20, 30 until 80 to denote events using numbers. You may also use letters such as A, B, C and so on to denote the nodes or the events. A project has a beginning, a middle and the end. In the figure, the beginning is event 10 and the, end, and the end is event 18. To recap, using gun chart technique, the activities are represented using bars. However, in PERT diagram, the arrow between one node to another is representing the plan activities. Please take note that the arrow has its own specification. For example, the arrow between node 10 to 20, we have A, comma, 3. That define the initial event of node 10 to node 20 is basically the specific activity A is conducted for specific time duration. For example, 3, which is maybe a day or a week or a month. Put diagram is effective to visualize the project planning with concurrent or parallel activities to be conducted. As compared with gun chart, that is best technique to visualize the sequence. Okay now, how to develop a PERT diagram if you have such information as presented in the slide. The table shows the detailed activities planned for the analysis phase for one IS project development. There are nine activities that being identified as A, B until I. The predecessor for each activities are also identified in the table. For example, to begin activity B, activity A must be completed. To begin activity D, activity B and C must be completed. The predecessor is the activity that need to be completed before a new activity may be undertaken for an event. Meantime, the specific duration for each activity are also estimated. 
Day and month is commonly used to measure the time duration for the activity. In this example, we choose to number the events for the notes such as 10, 20, 30 and so on. To develop a PERT diagram, first we look at those activities with no predecessor activities. In this, in this case, A. Conduct interviews and C. Read company reports have no predecessor. The note 10 is the beginning events when A and C activities are occur. Therefore, we draw two arrows out of note 10. This arrow represents activities A and C. They are labeled as A, 3 and C, 4. Notes number 20 and 30 are drawn at the end of these respective arrows. The next step is to look for any activity requiring only A as predecessor. Therefore, activity B is the only one. So, it can be represented by an arrow drawn from note 20 to 30 and labeled as B, 4. Because activity D analyzed data flow and E introduced prototype, require both activity B's and C's to be finished before they are started, arrows labeled D and E are drawn from note 30. The notes 40 and 50 are the event that recognize the completion of both B and C. This process is continued until the entire PERT diagram is completed. Notice that the entire project ends at event call note 80. Let's look how PERT diagrams are developed with dummies activity. The figure shows two PERT diagrams with dummies. Take note that Project 1 and Project 2 are quite different. The way the dummy is drawn should make the difference clear. In Project 1, activity C's can only be started if both A and B are finished because all arrows coming into a node must be completed before leaving the node. In project 2, however, activity C requires only activity B's completion and therefore be underway while activity A is still taking place. From the shown figure, you can observe 
and estimate that project 1 takes 14 days to complete whereas project 2 takes only 9 days to complete the dummy the dummy in project 1 is necessary of course because it indicates a crucial precedence relationship on the other hand the dummy in project 2 is not required therefore activity a could have been drawn from 10 to 40 so event 20 may be eliminated completely now can you redraw the revised put diagram for project 2 Before we discuss further on the example of CPM in this slide, please take note that the activities are represented by the arrows are labeled such A equal to 1, not as A comma 1 as we applied previously. This is another way to specify the arrows or the activities in PERT diagram. Also, Assume that the durations are in days. In the shown figure, the nodes are numbered as 1, 2, 3 and so on until 8. Now, let's begin to determine the critical path for the project X as shown in the PERT diagram. First, list all the potential paths from initial node 1 until node 8 in the diagram. You should observe that there will be at least 4 potential paths for this project X. For example, path 1, node 1, 2, 2, node 5, node 6 and finally node 8. The sequence of the activity for this path 1 will be A, D, H, J and the total duration for this path 1 is 14 days. Continue to list down the sequence of activities and the time duration for path 2, path 3 and path 4. You should observe that path 2 has 16 days which is the longest day to complete the activities for this project with compared with other three paths. Therefore, path 2 is the critical path since it is the longer path for the network diagram.